Boom! Hello, everyone. Welcome to chapter nine of Doki Doki Literature School. Last episode, last chapter, uh, we did a little bit of a... Uh, we, we did a thing, okay? It wasn't very fun, but it was very, very good. But it wasn't very good, so it wasn't very fun, now was it? Either way, welcome to chapter nine. And today, you're going to be spending 30 minutes with me. With me! And we're going to go through the next part. And I completely... I do not know what part we were up to. So, we're just going to get straight into the game. And overall, hope you enjoy your time here with me for the next 30 minutes. And so, everyone in the world, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good night. And let's have some fun, okay? Let's go, baby! Okay, so I believe we're up to the chapter of poems. Are we up to the chapter of poems? I do not remember, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's pick. Let's just pick Winatsky, okay? <clears throat> yeah, let me. Yo, I need a voice. I need a voicing up. It's fine. <clears throat> It's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. <clears throat> well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, if everyone in the club writes really different, differently from each other, maybe you'll find little influence from all of us. For, uh, for instance, I noticed... That you were spending some time with you today. Not that I care. But when you spend time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look up at my poem. You probably would learn something from it. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, the flip like uh, question uh, equals equals. The fuck is, oh, how am I supposed to read this, Natsuki? No, this is like it's SBJ. SSBJ, you're welcome. What? SSBJ, you're welcome for. Uh, yeah, I can't read that. Sorry, um, Natsuki. <laughs> Why did you couldn't read it with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more than me? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a... Oh my god. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Sans, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. No, please. Just stop talking, Yuri. Play with me instead. That's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Holy fuck. End? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no fucking idea what just happened right now. <laughs> All right, okay, Monica time. <clears throat> Hi, again, Sice. How is the rain going? Um, all right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. You never know. Want to share what you wrote today? Uh, sure. Here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. <laughs> All right. Good job, Sais. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Ooh. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Uh, that way, it, uh, it counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I 
don't mean that like it's a bad thing though uh, but sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people uh, she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her but that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness I don't think she's used to being indulged like that <laughs> must be really starved from social interaction so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly like Ilya I think she gets too stimulated she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time suddenly the door opens uh, Yuri? I'm, I'm back didn't I miss anything? Uh, not really well we all started sharing our poems with each other eh? already? I, I'm sorry for being late no need to apologise we still have plenty of time so I'm glad if you took all the time you needed it Alright, thanks Monica. I suppose I could get my poem now. But anyway, you want you to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. Oh, damn. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, be a beautiful. Flashing, X, funding. Piercing red, green, blue, and less cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, weaverings, speaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cussing, tangent, like playing a, on a chalkboard on a something tuneable like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage endless poem of meaningless Ooh, delete her holy fuck hmm sorry i know it's a little abstract i'm just trying to well never mind there's no point in explaining anyway Here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save the, your game. You never know when, um, who I'm talking to. Can you hear me? Uh, tell me you can hear me. Uh, anything? Please help me. Okay. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna save the fucking game. I think something might go down. Okay, Yuri's the next one. And the last one. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Hmm? I mean, the poems are not good. It's, um, well, there are some things that you could work on, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, it feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Um, let, let's, let's move on. Here's the poem I, I wrote. Uh, you don't have to like it or anything. God damn. Wheel. Okay, oh my word. What's this one? A What's this? I've not I've not seen this before. A something tating wheel. Turning on an axle, grinding or oh, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy state. Locked ship, a postal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. Oh, a rotating wheel. Ah, okay. Rotating wheel. Okay, we got it. A, a torn harness, a parabolic gearbox, gear expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with an open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood. A prayer within a time devouring snakes with human eyes. 
a thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy state, exponential gearbox, a sky exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God. Uh, we all stay in, uh, rotating in six dimensions, faulty gears, and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks a second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second of time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written and clocked. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and an open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing postal. Breathing snakes. Portal, sorry. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Holy fuck, man. That is like the deepest thing I have ever read. Like, read. Oh, my word. Oof, okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little uh, hyperactive lately. So I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that was it, a, pen, a pen fell out uh, yesterday. Uh, so I took it home for safekeeping and I, I, um, I just don't really like the way that it writes. Uh, so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. What? Uh, uh, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You have a lot of special poem. Would you like to read it? Oh, boy. Yo, should we read this special poem? I feel like if it's special, we should read it, right? And I think anything that's special is special for me. So why don't we read it? A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together. And then she liked him even more. One day the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Right there. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so everyone should come and sit at the front of the room. Yeah. It's about the festival. Well, sort of. So we have to do something at the festival. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. We don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively since size going, but we've started with club activities. But this isn't time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so good about getting new members anyway? We've only got enough to be considered an official club. More members would just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's it. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with other people as, as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought here in the first place? Electric Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do anything anywhere else. It should be a place to <laughs> intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival even if it's something small. Right, Science? Uh, come on. You can't take adventure of Science to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us who join the club with people in mind, Yuri, never even taught you Science until she joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Science isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested to find new members. The rest of us 
a finite yes. And now you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. <laughs> Monica is clearly taken aback by Nasky's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Sainz want more members too. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it was up to me to rescue the situation. Oh, no. Nasky's right, isn't she? This club well, is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. <sighs> Why did I think everyone here throw it the same way as I did? Well, that doesn't mean that we're not getting new members or anything. Nice. Why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about now, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the, what's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this call was a mistake? <laughs> You've done it, Natsuki. Me? You just spoke my mind. It's a crime, to be honest. It's not about just being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in a club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is that a problem with the club being... that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now, Monica wants to take it away from me. <sighs> She's not taking away anything. She's not taking anything away. No sense. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... This for a bit of time. Things were nice. And now she starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Let's get... Nasuki is not Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. <clears throat> this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still... I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I would do my best to consider everyone's perspective. Make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Sais? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone every once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Oh, she's crying blood right now. <clears throat> all right. Well, maybe we can... We can all talk to Nesky tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Mm -hmm. uh, I know how things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also I, a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. It, let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Mm, okay. I look forward to it. Can we go too, guys? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Sash before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here. 
and all that. It's important to me as peasant. <laughs> Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been getting a little hectic lately, haven't they? Guys, nice. I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at the I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Mm. With how mean Asuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, mm. you know. <laughs> Sometimes it can feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all that time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There are s s some things I've been hoping to talk to with you about. Things I know only you could understand. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, friendos. And now we're up to the another poem section. So this is where I'm gonna cut it off for this episode. Woo! Wasn't too shabby, now was it? Hope you all enjoyed. It was a little bit shorter than because 21 minutes. And you know, we normally do 30 minutes, but we normally try to take little breaks when it gets to these points. So therefore I will cut it off. Well, we'll end the chapter for now. And we're back again next week so if you did enjoy it then you're more welcome to leave a like sub if you like to but overall if you enjoyed your time you can give me a kiss good 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 <laughs> but anyways i'll see you all again next week for chapter 10 until then where you're in the world take care of yourself okay have a good day have a good night stay yourself some and i will see you all again next week take care friendos bye, -bye.